Hey folks, welcome back to the next video of the Bloodborne 100% Completionist Guide Retrospective Playthrough. Uh, we are going to be continuing on, as I said, I'm going to be fighting the Dark Beast Parl. So, as you can see, the quickest way to get there, honestly, is to follow exactly as I am. Um, actually, just kidding, that's not the correct way to go. Uh, there's a different way to go. But I like going this way. <laughs> you could have literally just went down from the lamp, but oh well. It's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Anyways, just head down here, and then we will arrive at Dark Beast Parl. It's crazy how the music ex like it exactly stops. Um. Now, let me see if we have to fight with anybody, just in case. It just says, Defeat B Dark Beast Parl Boss to obtain the Spark Hunter Badge, which uh, enables you to be able to buy the Tenitris. And uh, pro tip is just focusing on his legs, which will make it way easy to stun him. This is one of the only fights where I don't really like to use the camera 24-7. Pretty simple fight if you constantly stun him, honestly. It's that easy. I love the Whirly Gig Saw. I thought we were supposed to get 26k, but oh well. Basically, uh, we are doing this so that we can talk to Jora, which I don't think you need to really reload the area, but you just need to have this door open. So, um, let's see. Yeah, with the Corruption Oath memory still equipped, I don't have that. Where do you get the Corruption Oath memory? Uh, oh, okay. So we cannot actually do that until we equip the... Okay. Okay. So we're not able to actually do anything with Jora yet. We need the Corruption Oath memory, which we get from uh, defeating Ligarius. Um, so let's just scroll back up to the top here. Um, we are actually on pretty good pace. Um, basically, we're just going to go back to the Cathedral Ward, and then we will end up in Hemwick Charnel Lane, hopefully defeating the Witches of Hemwick before continuing on. Um, that'll probably be, like, the episode, is what I'm thinking, in terms of, like, how much time we have. I think that's, I think that's a good stopping point. Um, beating the uh, Witch of Hemlock boss. There's only one thing that we need to pick up in Hemlock Charnel Lane, so <laughs> it'll be pretty easy. Um, so we need to speak with Adela the Nun. Where is she? Uh, I don't see her. Um... Oh, hello. It's 
Sorry, dear. You're much too eager. I've only so much blood, okay? Okay. Um, I do not see Adela. I don't see Adela. What the heck? I know we talked to her in the previous episode. I mean, oh, there she is. I'm dumb. Oh, brave hunter. Cool. You're alive. Thank you very much. Church bow female. The town is in disarray, but there are still people here. Mm hmm. Together we await the help of the healing church. I cannot forget to express my gratitude to you. The only thing that I can offer is my own lonely blood. If it would suffice. So I guess you have to, um... You renewed thoughts of I guess you have to use a I I don't know. Do you have to use this in order to get hers? Cause this is finite. Once you use this, it's gone. So I don't know. Cause I don't know why it says I have it, because I do not. I mean, you could tell in my inventory, I do not have it. Huh, have you... Huh, have you renewed thoughts on this matter? Anyways, let's look that up. So, I don't know why it's not working. It says I've already received blood, but I haven't. You have... I'm not sure why it's not working. Um, that kind of puts a stingent, stingent <sighs> on the uh, on the playthrough. Like I, I don't understand why it's not working. Have you? Anyways, um, for whatever reason, we cannot get the blood of Adela. It like you don't see it in my uh, inventory here. Um. And I don't want to take hers, just in case. Maybe we're, we'll be able to do it on a, a new playthrough. But basically what they say is get the blood of uh, Adela, and then what you want to do is kill her afterwards, and this will give you the Uden Wright Wraith rune. What have I done? Oh. 
There we go. Easy. Oh, this guy's pissed. <laughs> He's scared. Oh, there you are. <laughs> not too safe here after all, is it? But I'm not concerned. I know a better place to go. And you were terribly kind to show me here. <laughs> yep, I was. Anyways, now what we want to do is continue onwards. We are going to head up the stairs here, and we are going to just go right to uh, Hemwork Charnel Lane, which is what I said that we were going to do after that, but I'm, I just got distracted because I couldn't get Adela's blood, and that really, really uh, kind of upset me. Um, I'm very pissed off. Anyways, let's just continue on. Um, I'm going the wrong way. You want to go up here instead of down. This is not normal progression. This I think this is actually an optional area, but obviously if you're on your first playthrough or whatever, you want to go here because you want to get the uh, Rune Workshop tool, which is very useful. Uh, you want to pick that up, the Bloodshot Eyeball. It's totally useless, but it's actually used for uh, Chalice Dungeons, so it's not totally useless. Shut up, Brock. Anyways... Anyways, let's continue on. Um, this can be a little little tricky here. Uh, just just walk forward. Um, make sure your uh, stamina is all the way up. As I said earlier, the only thing that we're going to pick up at the Hemicharnal Lane that's of importance is the Lake Rune. Pretty nice. We're gonna light this lamp. I can show you guys the shortcuts as well. Um, this is quite a confusing maze type area. Um, what by that I mean like a lot of the things connect back to each other, so it can be confusing on in terms of like progression and stuff like that. Wow. Let's pick this up. Ooh, Tempering Blood Gemstone. That could actually be really good for, uh... That could be really good for, um, our weapon. Because we do not have one of those triangle gemstones, the tempering ones, I guess they're called. Whoa, chill, bro. Again, if anybody knows why I was not able to pick up Adela's uh, blood, please let me know in the comment section down below, because I would like to get that. Um, at least in the next playthrough, obviously we've already killed her. Uh, <laughs> so, unfortunately I screwed it up if there was something different I had to do, but... Going based off the guide that I'm looking at, there was nothing that I missed. Um, in terms of, like, actual progression of her quest line. Maybe killing Dark Beast messed it up? I don't know. We'll be able to do it in the next playthrough, though, for sure. Alright, so... Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, this area is kind of a big meme uh, between me and my one friend, uh, Trent. Basically, 
we were doing a co-op playthrough a few years ago now, and there's one specific crow that does not aggro you here, but I guess for whatever reason, um, it must aggro like, oh no. It must. Yeah, this one's the one that doesn't aggro. But, as I was saying, for whatever reason, it must aggro, like, your co op friends, because it was funny. He was standing here, like, in front of it, like, on top of it almost, and it bit him in the dick, and he died. It was so funny. Anyways, I'm sorry I hit you, buddy. I don't know if it's it was, like, accidentally programmed to not hit you, but. It is always an interesting thing, nonetheless, to uh, mention. Anyways, this is the uh, first little uh, area that we can actually... Do we want to talk to this guy yet? Does not mention anything about that. I think we do that whenever we go to uh, the Forbidden Woods. I don't know if talking to him messes it up, so I'm not going to do it, just in case, because it's not mentioned in this guide. Um, the lake rune, I remember where it is. It's kind of annoying to reach, honestly, but we will be able to get to it. Um, we are going backwards. <laughs> um, that's a different crow. Yeah, our buddy's right here. He won't hurt us. Trust. Um, so we are just gonna continue on. Uh, we are gonna run right past the troll, dude. This is the hard part. Um, but what you wanna do is you just wanna avoid getting hit by that dog right there. And then just run right up. This is also a, a nostalgic moment for, uh, me and my friend Trent. Um, because this is one of the funniest memes we have ever encountered. It was the funniest thing ever. You had to be there. It's actually a short on my channel. Um, I think if it's, like, right here, you can, like... Oh, well. Oh, he did go up a little bit. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Not as funny. It was so funny when it happened, because I've never seen that in my entire life. Um... Uh... Oh well, we gotta heal. That's the lake rune right over there. Um, but I do want to show you guys another shortcut. I believe there's. No, I think there's just one. Honestly, I like to drop down here because this, to me, is the easier way to actually do this area. But. Honestly, you can do this area any way you want. Oh! That was scary. Um, those dogs give you bloodstone shards, but, I mean, you shouldn't need any at this point. Um... My weapon's plus six, because I was farming the, uh, abductor dudes, like, crazy, so that I could get my weapon a plus six, so I can make the, um, Dark Beast Parl fight bearable, you know? There's the lake rune. That's all we need to get in this area in terms of 100% completion. Uh, so we are just gonna go run right over here. We are gonna unlock this, uh, gate, as you can see, because it's a shortcut. In case we die, we shouldn't die, but, I mean, we're just going to do it later, uh, for later on anyways, because, um, it's, it's a good shortcut for when we come back here for, uh, what's it called, the, um, Kanehurst Castle. Alright, so, when, whenever we, uh, come back here, when we get the Kanehurst summons, we will be able to use that shortcut, and that's why I unlocked it, not because I'm going to die. I'm not gonna die. I mean... The funny thing is, though, if you kill these people...
Yeah, that executioner guy will like run up here to save their ass. He's like a simp. It's kind of funny. If you think about it, like. It, it, it actually is quite comical that he like simps for them. He's like the white knight. Anyways, uh, we're gonna continue on. Uh, I believe there's a chest right here that we can get another gemstone. Yeah, another... Eh, it's not as good as the other one, but... We are now going to fight the, uh... What are they called? The Witches of Hemwick. Or Witch of Hemwick, however you want to interpret that. So what you do is you run right in here. She's actually always going to start over here. Yeah, you usually can make out where she's going to go. If you pay attention closely. Um, oh, there she is. Actually, that's a different one. I do not see her. Oh, there she is. There's another one. No way, bro. We should be okay, because we're at full health. Alright, chill. There we go. Easy. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> so that's a pretty easy fight. It's kind of a, a gimmick boss, I guess. Um, it's just the fact that they're invisible that makes it a little bit difficult, but if you have them in your field of view, you can actually see them, sort of, when they teleport initially. So, we picked up the Rune Workshop tool, and that about wraps it up for this episode. I will meet you guys in the Forbidden Woods in the next one. But, I mean, it makes more sense for me to show you where that is, right? So, let's just head right there. Um, it's easier to actually just go back... Um, we can show you the hunter's workshop, the work, like the rune workshop tool, uh, how to use that. It's pretty simple. Um, it, basically, those runes that I've been picking up throughout the playthrough, that's what you can basically equip to your character. You can have three and then one main like one. Main like. <laughs> um, but there are no, we don't have oath memories yet, so... Basically, I'm just going to get, oh, let's see, increases defense. We'll get that one for now. We'll get the beast rune, and we'll get the moon rune. I think that's actually pretty decent. Um, Repair our weapon. Oh, blood jam fortification. Cool. Now our weapon does poison. I'm well, well, no, just kidding. It doesn't actually. <laughs> very well, um. So we're gonna level up our endurance to twenty. Farewell, and good hunter. As you can see, at least for my playstyle, what I recommend is leveling up all of your stats that you want to, um, around the same pace. 
that way like if you get your strength like say you level up only endurance to like 40 it's going to be way harder to even it out with your strength and skill and everything else if you already have your endurance at 40 because uh you know you have to spend more echoes to level up at that point so that's just my recommendation um you can obviously do whatever you need uh whatever suits your uh play style is going to be honestly the best bet for you a little long of a <laughs> loading time here. Should have talked during this. Jeez. Anyways, once we get into Cathedral Ward, we're just gonna continue. Um, can we talk to this guy yet? Oh. Give you a rest, please. <laughs> I've no time for your petty lies. But what? Just go away now. I can't Hawaii. stand the stench of your lying breath. Alright, so. In order to get into the Forbidden Woods, it is actually really simple. Um. I do believe that we need to talk to Alfred, though. So. We should do that. Um. Let's see. doesn't even mention Alfred. Hmm. But this is how you get to the Forbidden Woods. Um, and Alfred is right here. I'm gonna talk to him. But I'm gonna check first, if we should. Alfred. Yeah, I guess you don't need to... You don't need to talk to him until, uh... You have to give him the unopened summons. But I'm going to talk to him anyways because I just want to continue on with his. Oh, little good to see you safe. Jig. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. I think we've already talked about all this. Actually, not this ah, part. There's something I want to tell you a bit of wisdom from the eminent master Lugarius. Once, a scholar betrayed his fellows at Bergenworth, and brought forbidden blood back with him to Canehurst Castle. It was there that the first of the inhuman vile bloods was born. The vile bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the church's blood healing. The ruler of the vile bloods is still alive today. And so, to honor my master's wishes, I search. For the path to Canehurst Castle. Okay. So I just wanted to hear I that. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May okay. May the good blood guide your way. Yep. Anyways, a uh, bit of a lore thing. I think that's a DLC area down there. I could be wrong. I wish I had, like, hacks to just teleport myself everywhere. But it would be fucking sick if I could. Anyways, we're just gonna tell them the password. The password. The password. <laughs> the password. <laughs> and uh, if you talk to his corpse, he's already dead. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, I don't know who that is, but I'm sure it's uh, not Mr. Love. So this is the path of progression, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, this is Forbidden Woods, and I was totally wrong about those lighthouses. I guess they're just reused assets from Forbidden Woods, because I do remember them being in this area now that I think of it. Nice. All right, so this does uh, wrap up the episode. The next episode is gonna be a bit of a longer one in terms of like what we have to do, but, uh, cause there's a lot to do in Forbidden Woods. So we might not for, <laughs> we might not forbid 
uh, we might not finish Forbidden Woods uh, in the next episode. There might be two different episodes, but uh, stay tuned for that. And if you guys did enjoy the episode, leave a like down below, leave a comment saying how sexy I look. Peace.